Reminders of home. Ah, you must be Mr. Vishnevsky. Uh, but you are not Mrs. Fisher, no? No, not quite. I'm Chris Mead, the deputy head. You'll meet the real boss tomorrow. So I, I just thought I'd pop in and talk you through some of your duties. I'm a caretaker. A site manager? Fancy name by the same job, no? <laughs> yeah, more or less. Don't worry, I'm all set. I even have my first repair and oven to fix. Right, well, um, I'll, I'll let you get on with it then. Sorry, I almost forgot. Welcome to Waterloo Road. Oh look, here he comes. What took you? I'm ready, all right. Nothing like trying to impress the teachers, eh? <laughs> you got a dead body in your bag there, son? It's all the coursework. We've got uh, English deadline today, haven't we? There's uh, physics and Spanish. Yeah, all right, it's us the details, eh? I don't know why it bothers with it all. <laughs> I'm getting myself an education, all right? Piece of a dodgy back, more like the weight of that bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that about the job, Dad? No, it's a benefit interview again. Trying to take your money, Dave. Oh, I've got to go down and prove I deserve the pittance they give me. You should just dress up as an asylum seeker. They throw money at you. Ah, go on, get out of it, the pair of you. <laughs> hey, listen, Dad. Oh, yeah, I can have a word about the job with Mr. Mead if you want. No, he'll just say I haven't got it. Come on, wish you some sure of that. Experience. See you in a bit, Dave. Leave them. How long have you been down here? Can't sleep. Want some breakfast? <sighs> How about you get dressed? Give us a lift to school. I don't much feel like driving. Come on, Dad. You do you good. You haven't been out the house in a week. Everyone's asking of you. Why don't you go and see him? I'm not in the mood, son. I'm trying my best here, Dad. Looks like you needed that. Oh, could use another cup. Take it, he's on the mend then. You are? Tom must have his strength back if he's keeping you awake at night. Oh, oh no, 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 he's, he's not. We're, we're not. Oh, is he still under the weather? Somewhere nice. What? Wherever it was you drifted off to. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know where my head is. Uh, Jonah, is there something you needed? No, just want to say morning. Right, well, now that you've said what you have to say, you can make your way to class. I just think we should do something at the three of us. Well, you can come round to mine if you want. Oh, no, let's go out, have a bit of fun. I can be the party animal all of a sudden. All right, I've been a bit of a moan lately. Which is why tonight's my treat. Well, if you're paying, I'm in. Yes, yeah, baby. Jess. I suppose. But I get to decide where we're going. Stamp it. <laughs> Martin, what can I do for you? Just wonder if I could have a word, sir. It's about your coursework. I've already marked it. Very impressive. <laughs> no, it's, it's about my dad. He went for that site manager's job. I'm just wondering if you've heard well, of According it. to the recruitment agents, their interviews were last week. Well, we never heard anything. Yeah, well, we sent letters out. Can they still get an interview? You'll have to ask the agents. Sir. Actually, Martin, the job's already gone. New site manager started today, I'm sorry. Well, what's the verdict? Your oven is broken. And what exactly is the matter with it? You have a problem with thermostat. That's impossible. I've calibrated it myself. Well, you made a mistake. I beg your pardon. 
Okay, your oven is not uh, hot enough. I work with this at home. I think you'll find my ovens are a little more sophisticated than the ones they have in Poland. Right. What makes you think I'm Polish, huh? I um, have an Eastern European accent, so I just see... There are 20 countries in Eastern Europe. Not just Poland. I'm joking. Of course I'm Polish. But you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Okay. Can you fix that quickly, please? Because I have a class coming in. Are you going to use oven? That's the idea. Well, you need another idea. Either that or new oven. Everyone inside. Quickly, please. Josh, look, I'm sorry it happened, but ignoring me ain't gonna help. I'm not ignoring you. You've had this bloke to me all week. Been busy with my dad, haven't I? It's not been easy, you know. Yeah, well, it's been a nightmare at my place as well. Oh, what, has your dad run out of teachers to beat up, has he? Right. Josh and Nate, come on. Right, um, change of plan, gentlemen. You just give me a minute. So start setting up, please. Be careful with tools. Sorry, mate. Didn't understand the word of that. I said, be careful with tools. Nah, still nothing. Is it English? <laughs> Why don't you boys get on with your cooking classes, huh? So you trying to be funny? You're stealing jobs from people who live here, you know that. I didn't steal that job. And I live ten minutes from school. Yeah, yeah but for how long? As soon as you're making off, you'll be off home, won't you? Mind your own business, okay? Blokes who live here can't afford to feed their families because you're not undercutting everybody. Who are this bloke? Show me. Yeah, my dad, for one. Yeah, you nicked his job. <laughs> Give it back. So I'm sick of your mob coming round here and you're, you're nicking all the work. Listen, I don't like being called free, but okay. you don't like it, you can go, can you? What is going on here? Stole his dad's job. I'm warning you, I'm not a thief. That is enough. I think you should leave, Mr. Vishnevsky. What? Why should I go? Because I'm telling you to. Thank you very much. I want to make a complaint. Uh, is there a problem? Yes. Discrimination. That's the problem. So, what's the plan then? What do you mean? Can't let the pole get away with that. Need to do something. Yeah, I just did. Sorry, do you not hear me? That was just words. I've done the trick though, didn't I? Got kicked out of the class. Big deal. You still got your dad's job. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, dad's a top bloke. He's got loads of respect around the estate. Just needs to stand up for him. Alright, how do you reckon we do that? Don't know. I'm not letting Dave down. I'm not letting Dave down. You heard yourself. But he's not even your dad. And then if anyone's standing up for him, it's me. All right. You're cutting it a bit fine, aren't we? I'm sorry, Jana. I wasn't aware that my timekeeping was any of your business. It's just making a joke, miss. Yes. Well, now you can just sit down. Miss, did you know that Martin Downing's a racist? He hates the pubs. Uh, that's enough, Ronan. Oh, it's off in Mrs Fry's class, miss. He told the new caretaker to go back to his own country. Martin had no right to say that. He's got the right to free speech, though. Not free speech if you're attacking a minority. Expressing an opinion isn't the same as attacking someone. Well, in my experience, Jonna, it often is. And I'd rather not be talking about this now. Well, why not? Yeah, miss, why not? Because it's not relevant. It's pretty relevant to me. Right, OK. Um... If you want to talk about this, then we will all talk about it. But in Spanish. A racismo es un tema muy delicado. Ruby, can we have a chat? Yeah, I was going to come and find you, actually. I had a few problems with our son. Um, Mr. Vishnevsky says that Martin Dowling was out of order this morning. Well, he wasn't the only one. Mr. Vishnevsky should learn to rein in his temper. The boy started it. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can threaten him. He insulted me. Okay. I hardly think so. All right, let's just try and stay calm. Perfectly calm, like some of us. Lucas says that Martin told him to go back home. 
that he's stealing British jobs. Well, his father has just lost out on that job, so understandably he's upset. So that's no excuse, and you should have told Martin that. I agree with him. Sorry? What are you saying? I think that Mr Vishnevsky is stealing jobs from British workers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ruby, can we talk? So you're saying that you sympathise with right-wing views? Of course not, but I don't see the point in censoring them. Well, we can't let them run around making hate speeches. Look, hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. It's a little bit naive of you, Jenna. Well, Martin Luther King didn't think so. You give these people a platform, you give them profile. So we just ignore them then? Yeah. So what's wrong with that? If you ignore people, they only get louder. <laughs> so that's what this is all about. You're upset because you think I'm ignoring you. I don't think. I know you've been ignoring me all week. Jonathan, please. Why are you doing this, Jessica? Because what happened last week was a mistake. And it can't happen again. Well, it didn't feel like a mistake to me. You've got to stop being honest about us. J Jonna. You have to understand, there is no us. Something is happening between you and me, Jessica. How long are you going to pretend that it isn't? Oh, just give me a shout when you're ready, yeah? Don't you think we're blowing it out of proportion? Which part? Martin making racist remarks or you condoning them? But Martin only expressed an opinion. Ruby, can't you see that holding these kind of views could be seen as racist? No! No, that's slander. And I resent being called a racist. Well, you might want to drop the whole British jobs for British workers, then. I think that employing migrant workers over local people is unfair. See, saying things like that in school can have serious consequences. Right, OK. Not exactly on the verge of a race riot, but OK. You know what, Ruby? We're done. You'll apologise to Mr Vizhnevsky. Because I have an opinion? Yeah. One based on ignorance. Do you know that my John lost his building firm last summer? It was 20 years of hard work down the drain like that. And you know why, Chris? Because he employed local tradesmen and he paid them decent wages. And in the end, he couldn't compete with migrant workers undercutting him. We lost a lot. So unlike you, I know what I'm talking about. So you better get downstairs. Down, please. What's going on? You see? Look at me. I didn't do it. You two. My office now. It weren't even us, sir. You two were the ones having a go at Mr Vizhnevsky this morning. Doesn't mean we tagged his office. Martin, you got anything to say about this morning? We had words, sir. Yeah, pretty harsh words. You accused him of stealing your dad's job. Yeah, but I just don't think it's fair, miss. Or is that why you painted the slogan on his window? No, can I have just told you that that weren't his? I'm going to be keeping an eye on you two. Off you go. Hey, and stay away from Mr. Vishnevsky. So, what are you going to do? Let's get Martin's dad in. Thanks. 
Thanks for coming. You were right. I have been avoiding you, and that's not been fair. I just wanted to explain. You don't need to explain anything. No, no, Jenna, please, just let me finish. It was stupid of me to ask you to the house like that. It gave the wrong impression. So I did you. Jenna, please don't make this any more difficult than it already is. When we kissed, it felt right. Look, I know what the risks are for you, and I know how scary it must be. But if you want it enough, then we'll find a way to make it work. Well, the thing is, what happened to Tom, Mr. Clarkson, it's brought us closer together, and I want to make a go of it. So you're in a relationship after one date? I don't believe that. Well, I'm sorry, Jonah, but you're just going to have to trust me. That's for the best. So what you're saying is you've got no proof that my son did this? It's not just the graffiti, Mr. Dowling. I'm afraid Martin expressed some extreme opinions today. Yeah, but he's a smart lad, isn't he? He knows his own mind. Oh, so presumably you don't share his views on immigration? We're not talking about me, are we? All right, then. Maybe, Martin, you can tell us how you came to hold these views. How do you mean, sir? Well, have you been reading books about it lately? Websites? Have you been talking with your mates? Well, maybe he just sees things for how they really are. And how are they, exactly? It's getting to the stage where it's not even our country anymore. The foreigners are getting all the breaks. So is that what happened, Martin? You just woke up and saw things how they really were? Well, my dad's lived in this area for years. He's got all the qualifications, but he didn't get an interview. OK, I have to warn you that the school doesn't tolerate anyone airing the kind of views that you did today. <sighs> And if Martin continues to voice them, we will take action. Is that it, then? Yes. Janice? Yeah? Can you get the recruitment agency on the phone for me, please? Yeah, of course. School. Yeah, total fascist. Excuse me. Who did this? I mean it. Who is responsible for this? Finn, do you know who did this? She saved her eyes. It's no big deal. Anyway, I was just thinking maybe I could get you a birthday present. Well, my birthday was ages ago. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't about, was I? So, I was thinking maybe we could go into town. Okay, well, could we get something for tonight? Oh, yes! I might get myself something as well. <laughs> it's all right for him. There's no poles undercutting teachers. Sorry about the job, Dad. It's not your fault, son. I appreciate you two standing up for me as well. well Martin's idea. Yeah? Think you had it in you? Maybe you're more like your old man than you thought, eh? So you feel strongly about something, you've got to take action, right? And your words on a wall only get you so far. You just have to up your game, make sure they really get the message. Up, up our game out. Oh, you're a clever lad. I'm sure you'll think of something. Proud of you, son. So? What are you going to do now? I think we should see how good Vishnevsky is at his job, don't you?
can keep this up, we'll be handing his resignation. Never know. They might just sack him. Hope we brought a screwdriver. You got a problem? No. No problem. It's the right mess this place, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. That shouldn't be allowed. But if someone's not doing their job properly. <laughs> I reckon someone should complain about it. To me. Go and tell him that the boys' toilets is a disgrace. In fact, the whole school's a mess. Yeah, yeah, I can do that if you want. What are you waiting for? Go on. That's just some of the kids messing about, trying to upset you. Yeah, well, they've succeeded. Who's to say that that wasn't a teacher? I can't see any of the staff pulling a stunt like this. Because they're too busy driving me out the staff room. Oh, come on, Ruby, that's over the top. You were hardly driven out. It's just that race is a very sensitive area. I made one innocent remark and I am treated like the school pariah. Hmm. Are you sure it was so innocent? Do you know? I don't know now. But you're going to call me racist, though. No, I don't think you're racist, Ruby. Just, uh, <clears throat> well, a little right-wing sometimes. Well, look at you, Mahatma Gandhi. You're not exactly famous for your tolerance and understanding, you know, Grantley. Oh, it's true. I hate everyone, but I hate them all equally. Why should I censor my own personal opinion? Look, much as I hate to admit it, Adana is right. Kids are like sponges, they take everything in, which is why we have to watch our mouths. You know that I haven't got anything against Mr. Vishnevsky. I mean, it's not personal. I know that. I, I'd be mortified if the kids thought it was. I mean, I know I make out I don't care what they think, but I do. I do. Well, if that is the case, you might want to consider an apology. Oh, come on, Ruby. Saying sorry is what the British do best. It's not just here. They've been messing up the whole school. I appreciate that, Mr. Vishnevsky. What? You appreciate it? Well, maybe you should do something about it. I will, but for now, I'm afraid you're just going to have to try and rise above this. Are you saying this is my fault? No, of course not. Clearly you're being targeted, but... I just have to take it, yeah? I'm sorry, I know that it's hard, but the school needs you to deal with this. They won't get away with it, I promise. You're not right here, mate. <laughs> Was you? I don't know what you're on about. I mean, you don't like it, you know, he's quit. I think it's a good thing that your father didn't get a job. You know? Give him time to teach you respect. You don't even know my dad. You learn a lot about the man from his son. Maybe you got the anger from him. And your cowardice, too. You want to watch your mouth, mate. Seen clocks and how comes no one in the school knows about it. Jono, what are you doing? There's 600 kids in this school and they're all trained to spot a teacher romance in my life. I thought we agreed we would not talk about this morning. We're not. We're talking about you going on with Tom Clark. Well, I'd rather we didn't. Why? Is it because you're fibbing? Okay, Jono, if you keep this up, I'm going to send you to the cooler. Why? Because you're not going out of class. Josh, how's your dad? It's not great, miss. Well, I was thinking of coming up to visit after school. Cheer him up a bit. Okay. Sounds great. Well, I'll see you soon. I don't know about this, mate. I'm gonna get caught in here. He wants to get personal. Fine.
boyfriend. Mr. Vishnevsky, I... Good God. You two stay exactly where you are. Hey, hey! What on earth do you think you've been doing? Standing up for people like my dad. I, I thought you'd understand. Unbelievable. You were the one backing me this morning. I, I, I thought you'd signed up for this and all. I don't know what it is you think I believe in, Martin, but it's not this. Dad says that if you believe in something, you stand up for it. Take action. Well, your dad's a moron, Martin. My dad's not a moron. Well, he is if he's encouraging you to damage school property. Yeah, but he's not a moron. You need to take that back. Take that back! Right, you are in enough trouble as it is, okay? Is that your colour? What you want about? That's perfect for me, that. Now, this is more you. Do you reckon? Yeah, the colour's great. We've definitely got the figure for it. Ugh, yeah, well, I've not got the money for it right now. Well, if you like it, I'll get it here. I could try it on, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, let's try it on. Come on. What can I say, Ruby? Well done. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm well aware of my part in this. Your part? Be modest there, Ruby. You pretty much caused this. No, this isn't Ruby's fault. This is Martin's doing. What the hell is this? Mr. Vishnevsky, I owe you an apology. I'm going to deal with this right now. I just... I'm really so very sorry. Jess? Do you want to hurry up? Oh, it looks lovely. I need a smaller size, Bex. You haven't got time. Oh my God, it'll take two minutes. It's like shopping with Mum. I reckon she's an eight. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna bite you. I really don't have time for this. Quite finished. Yeah, I told you to stay away from me. I have been doing. It was a coincidence. I happened to be passing, saw you. Yeah, right. And when you went to see me mum in her office, you were just passing then, were you? I went to meet the family. Do you know why right doing this to me? Look, we're finished. Do you not get it? Bit of retail therapy, was it? My money paying for it, yeah. I never asked for your money. Oh, but you took it because you know you've earned it. Here, just have it back. Go on, please, have it. Problem is, if I take that, you're going to think we're all square. There's nowhere to go. Last chance, Dylan. Just take the money. You always did love the cashbacks. What did you do that for? Because I don't need your money and I don't need you. You didn't need to throw it off the building. There's nearly a grand there. Just go back to London. I'm not giving up on you, Bex. My office now. You too, Mike. The 
fact is, you manhandled a pupil because he stole my phone. All day they've been attacking me. And we'll be suspending him, but now I also have to suspend you. What? I'm sorry. I've got no choice. But you are giving him what he wants. He's sitting out there, happy. Mr. Wisniewski. Mr. Wisniewski! Where is it? Where's the phone? Hello? Victor? No, cześć! Cześć, no, jak ci poszedł egzamin? No, zdałeś? No, no widzisz, no! Ha, super! Ha. Słuchaj, no, no, jestem z tobą, no, zadzwonię do ciebie za chwilę, dobra? Że co? No, zadzwonię, nie mogę teraz rozmawiać. No, kocham cię, pa. No, pa, pa, pa. Wiktor, my son, uh, he had an exam in Poland today, a very hard exam. Did he do well? Well, he says no, but I know he did. He's a smart boy. Um, do we have to go ahead with the suspension, Chris, given the circumstances? I was wrong to push him. But actually, one day here is enough for me. Well, if you present your case, then... No, I quit. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. But I think uh, it's better for me to have a fresh start somewhere else. Where the hell did you get off to? We're going to get this dress on, aren't we? I haven't got any money. Uh, yeah, you have. You've got a big fat envelope of it, in fact. I threw it away. What, you threw your savings away? They weren't my savings, Jess. Yeah, I kind of guess that. So, where'd you get them from, then? I can't tell you. Well, it must be something bad, then, Max. You're on the game? <laughs> Look, I did some things that I'm, I'm not proud of. I just, I don't want to say any more than that. I'm your sister. Yeah, and when I'm ready to talk, you will be the first person that I turn to. <sighs> All right. Well, come on then, let's go find a bank. We're going out tonight, aren't we? And you've got no money, so I'm paying. Can you afford it? Yeah. Got my savings, Anna. <laughs> I don't understand mine. I'm not saying you're the perfect pupil, but you're smart. You've got a future. Shooting for university if you work hard. Well, Dad says university is overrated. And what do you think? No. I'll probably just stay around here. I'll get a job when I leave school. Right. So you'll just throw away your education then? Well, my dad never had one. He'd have been fine if he got this job, wouldn't he? And cause your dad didn't get the job. That makes it OK for you and Kyle to harass Mr Vishnevsky. I didn't say nothing about Kyle. We know Kyle was involved. We're not stupid. OK. One week suspension for you, starting from now. You go and you apologise to Mr Vishnevsky, and then you go home. So was it worth it? How do you mean? You got rid of Mr. Vishnevsky. You must be happy with the result. I'm just sticking up for my dad, sir. Well, all the trouble you've caused today, I'm sure your dad would be very proud. Can't believe she thinks like that. And again, Ruby never was the most tolerant. <laughs> Worst thing is, she actually believes she's right. Well, she's the only one. Must be hard, I suppose. Um, think something's right and everyone says it's wrong. Uh, not really. I usually bug everyone until they see it my way. What if you know something's wrong, but you just can't help yourself? Just so that they know, we're not talking about Ruby now, are we? <laughs> There's nothing wrong in it, you know, Cheska. We can't help who we fall for. 
If you and Tom like each other, then go for it. I know you two had a bit of a shock the other night, but you should just trust your instincts. And what if your instincts are wrong? Oh, what, with Tom? Yeah. Isn't it better just to take a risk, see what happens? This might be the best thing for you. I mean, look at me. I just ended up with guys that I thought other people would approve of. And where did that leave me? Three ex-husbands and a whole heap of regret. No right to invite her. I didn't. She invited herself. Well, you should have said that I was busy. But you're not. You're just sitting around in your pajamas. Oh, come on, she said she wanted to cheer you up. She actually said that? Yes. Now give us an hand. Just not. I'm not up for this. I'm gonna call her and cancel it. No, you're not. I'm not sitting in again with you depressed. Josh. No, I mean it, Dad. You do this, get a shower and get a grip. Go. Miss. I'm sorry about earlier. No. Not me you should be apologising to. I'm just on my way to see him now. Good. Things just got out of hand. Well. You know, it's been a hard lesson for both of us, but they say those are the most effective. It's, you know, it's all behind us now, so... Anyway, it's over. It's not over. My dad's here. Go and get Mr Mead. Right, so you show me where he is, yeah? You need to stay here. What? Uh, why? Just, um, trust me, you need to stay here. Oh, Mrs. Fry, I, I don't know what's happening. I am not attracted to you. Oh, my God! There's a safety glass! Idiot! Let's see how yeah? you are, eh? You want trouble? Come on, then, get out of here! No, Mr. Vishnevsky, just Do you want trouble? Hey! Job, you so I didn't pay. stay! Don't call me thief, OK? Hey. He attacked my son. Let's pretend that this is about Martin. You have come in here to throw your weight around. You're meant to be setting an example to these lads. I am setting an example. I'm showing my kid how to stand up against this lot. You are showing him how to be a bully like you are, that's all. Yeah, maybe that's how you see it. You've got him going around the school causing havoc and all because you didn't get some job. Would you blame me? I've lived two miles away for years and they handed over to someone who arrived a week ago. I didn't even get an interview. That's not true though, is it, Mr Dowling? See, I called the recruitment agency to find out why they didn't give you an interview. Apparently, they offered you one, but you didn't turn up. Dad? Is that true? Dad? Sorry. It's all right. Looks better than it did. No, cool being out. You talk about being insensitive. Look, I'm so sorry I haven't been in touch. I don't blame you. They had me pretty shook up as well. You staying for dinner, miss? Well, that would be nice. You could cook something, Dad. We haven't got anything in. Uh, we haven't been to the shop, see. So... OK. Well, here's the thought. Why don't we all go out for a drink? I don't really feel much like drinking. Oh, go on, Dad. I'm not planning a session. No, I really don't think it's a good idea. It's just the one drink, and then we'll go and grab a takeaway on the way back. No, really. No, I really think this could be good for you. It'll cheer you up. No, it won't! I don't want to go out! All right! I'm sorry. I know. And it's going to be fine, OK? Look, there's some pizza in the freezer. Mm. This pizza OK, miss? Pizza's great, as long as it's all right with your dad. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm sorry. It's all right.
just give us a sec, eh? Don't look at me like that, son. It has just been a total waste of time. You don't know that. Oh, come on. Immigrants get all the jobs. Yeah, maybe that's because they turn up to the interviews, Dad. You made me feel like a total div. I put my future on the line. I made that guy's life a total misery. I did all that for you. Well, I never asked you to. Yes, you did. You made it very clear. And all the time, you didn't even want the job. Well, maybe I just didn't want this job. What? I was a welder, son. You know, proper profession, proper skills. So? So? So now I'm supposed to stoop to the level of a caretaker? It's better than being on the dole, innit? Hanging around the house and that. Yeah, it'd suit that, wouldn't it? Hey, Having your old man in here, clearing up after you. You're the smart man, eh? The brain box. The kid with the bright future. Yeah. And you're supposed to be happy about that, Dad. Is that not what you want for me? No, it's not, is it? You, you want me to be more like Kyle? A total screw-up? Don't be daft. Why would I want that? I don't know. Maybe if I mess my life up, you won't feel so bad about the state of yours. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner. It's okay. Give me a now, it's fine. And to tell you the truth, I was I was bricking it, seeing you again. I didn't exactly cover myself in glory, did I? On our first date. You don't need to apologize. I'll tell you what, why don't, why don't you come over tomorrow night? I'm sure I could rustle up something a little bit more exotic than a pizza. I'm so sorry, Tom. Um, I'm a bit busy. I've sort of made some arrangements. It was just a thought, no pressure. Tom, I like you. But you're going through a lot right now. And there's some things that I need to sort out. So let's just, um... Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Sure, you're right. I better go. I'll see you uh, back at school. Soon, I hope. Before you say anything, just hear me out, all right? I had no right to talk to you like that. I was out of order. No. You weren't. You're right. Look, if you want to forget all about us, that's okay. It's just... Just what? I can't stop thinking about you. Well, see you tomorrow. Wait.
I just think I need to spend some time on my own. Well, go on then, get lost. Can I get you a drink? Okay. <sighs> Didn't think I'd be doing this when I woke up this morning. Well, you're not great now, are you? No. What about you? I don't think I'll be regretting this. <laughs> so I'm looking at five, six. Oh, Jonah, please. <laughs> what, less than a five? I'd say you were about a nine. A nine? <laughs> Serious? <laughs> All right. Not bad for a first time, huh? Sorry. I thought you knew. Jessica. This was your first time. Well, does it matter? This was your first time, Jenna. Yeah, and I'm glad it was with you. No regrets. <laughs> no, no regrets. <laughs> Oi, you two. Uh, hi, Sam. Do you not think you two owe me an apology to get me kicked out of school? Sorry. They didn't throw you out. You chose not to come back. Because you planted drugs on me, Amy. What, and do you think I didn't get told off for it? I got excluded. Right, right girls, that's Amy. enough. <sighs> what is your name, girl? Sam Luca Kelly. <laughs>